everyone. Before we start our introduction of the Trianta breed, I would like to recognize a good friend of mine, my mentor, Mr. Glenn Carr. He started this breed, he brought him to the United States, refined him to our standard. We call him the godfather of our breed. But uh, we'd like to thank Glenn very much. This breed is becoming very popular over the years. Uh, the numbers are very, very reasonable at the conventions and, and the specialty shows. So they're coming along very fine. Uh, this is a senior buck. This is a four class breed. <clears throat> senior weights are four to six pounds. Juniors, six months old, can go up to five pounds. We want a contact, compact body. The standard calls for a plump body. You're looking down on them. We want firm flesh on these. We want kind of a, not an oval per se, but a roundness to them. <clears throat> and some very good flesh condition. We want a nice thick ear, a nice furred ear. On bucks, we want nice filled in cheeks, also on the does, more in the bucks. We want a nice bold head on them. We want the ears to be erect, <clears throat> nice full body. There's a lot of points on color, 30 points on color. We want a red, Fiery red as deep as we can go down the hair shaft. And we want that red to wrap around through the belly, around the top. It can be a little bit lighter in the haunches. No white on the tail. We want a good red color, nice, good, even color. Due to the head size, one, th one thing that I find with the Triantis, is we gotta watch their teeth. They do have budding teeth quite a bit because of the way their head structure is. And when I say quite a bit, you need to watch out for it. Like I said, juniors are up to five pounds. Remember, color is the key, body is the key. So when you compare them to Florida whites, how would you say their body differs? Well, body, Florida whites show a lot more commercial type type, although they're a compact breed. A lot of depth, a lot of width. We're not so interested in the depth on these. We're kind of looking for the, the roundness, the plumpness, and the, and the flesh condition on these. But, uh, just, just a well-rounded type animal. This is a very good example of a Trianta. He's an older buck, but you can see his head structure. He's got a good thick ear. Do you feel that when they have really bold round heads that they also have bold bone? Yes, I would agree with that. Can you, can you flip them over so that I can see the, or that we can see the color? On the, uh, yeah, on the belly. So you want that belly color to be as red yes. as possible? Yes, lighter in the haunches. One right up through the chest, all the way down. Dark toenails, of course. We want a color to the pads of their feet, not white. No white tail. But honestly, good, I think. Yeah. He can be darker in that undercoat. But... <laughs>